Greetings, in this tutorial we'll look at MIDI channel locking and MIDI channel pass through, available in FL Studio 12.3 onward. You can use MIDI channel locking to use different controllers to play specific instruments or changing the target instrument from the controller when you change its MIDI output channel. Useful when loop recording. Click here to see a video on that topic. The link is also in the description. OK, so we have two keyboard controllers connected. A master keyboard, a launch key, and a launch key mini. But any generic keyboard or pad controller will work, provided it's able to change its MIDI output channel from Omni, which is all channels, and 1 through to 16. Currently, if we select an instrument channel with the mouse, both keyboards will play the same instrument. But we can use channel locking to separate them. Right click the piano and select Receive Notes From. You can choose any controller on your system, including the typing keyboard. Let's choose the Launch Key Mini. Currently in the MIDI options, no input port number is set, so we can use the Auto Assign option at the top. Now, no matter what FL Studio instrument channel is selected, the Launch Key Mini will always play the piano and the master keyboard will play the selected channel. Nice. Let's lock the master keyboard to a different instrument channel. Let's right click the lead and select Receive Notes From and choose the Launch Key 61, the master keyboard. Auto assign again and now the master keyboard is locked to the lead. while the mini keyboard is still locked to the piano. Many controllers will also have built-in pads or key ranges that can send on a separate MIDI channel. In this case, we'll right-click the drums and receive notes from the launch key mini again. But this time, choose MIDI channel 10, which happens to be the channel the pads output from on this controller. We'll also go back to the piano and make sure it's only receiving notes on MIDI channel 1. Now the drum pads play the drum channel and the keys play the piano. If you want to unlock a controller, just right click the channel and go back to receive notes from and choose unlock. As most controller keyboards have some way of changing their MIDI channel, you can use this to swap between instruments on the fly. This is great for loop recording with a controller that's not natively supported by FL Studio. Let's right click the bass, choose the mini keyboard and assign it to channel one. Then the piano and assign it to MIDI channel two. The lead to MIDI channel three. On this controller, you hold the in control button and one of the 16 pads to set the output MIDI channel. If it's set to one, the keys will play the bass. Set it to MIDI channel two and it plays the piano. And MIDI channel three, the lead. As mentioned, you can also set an instrument channel to receive notes from your typing keyboard. If you're using a multi timbral instrument such as Direct Wave, you can use multiple MIDI channels from the controller and send them through to different parts of the plugin. Right click the instrument and choose MIDI channel through. And we better unlock the other channels. Now, with MIDI channel 1 selected, the keyboard plays the piano in direct wave. MIDI channel two plays the strings. And MIDI channel three, the vibraphone. These will also be recorded as different MIDI colors in the piano roll. Thanks for watching, and until next time, enjoy MIDI channel locking.